us in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's great joy for me to be able to meet with you while this video today. God is good all the time. And today I wanted to talk to you from Psalms chapter 77 verse 11. And here it goes. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. And I believe the psalmist here is encouraging the believers to remember the Lord's deeds, to remember His faithfulness, you know, to remember how good God has been in our lives. You know, too often in our lives we spend time thinking about what didn't work out, what made us upset, what disappointed us. You know, by default, as a human being, we all think in those ways sometimes. And unfortunately, by thinking in those ways, it doesn't help us. You know, it doesn't bring us happiness, it doesn't bring us joy or peace in our lives, but instead it robs us of our peace, joy, and even our good health sometimes. So it is important to be wise with what we think and how we think many times in a day it is so important that we meditate on God's word meditate on God's faithfulness and his goodness by doing so you know it helps us to have peace and joy in our lives not only that whatever we tend to focus on grows all right whatever we tend to focus on grows and it becomes stronger and when we tend to focus on the past, when we tend to focus on what made us disappointed, you know, you know, what made us feel upset and all those things, those things grow and they outgrow of the good things that God is doing in our life. So it's really important to acknowledge the Lord's deeds and His goodness and His faithfulness in our lives, all right? And I remember one time in my life when I was traveling and I had traveled to a certain country upon reaching at my destination I had realized that I had misplaced my air ticket and I couldn't find it at that day I remember where I had placed my air ticket and every time I reached out in that place you know looking for it I couldn't find it so I frantically started searching for that air ticket I went everywhere that I could uh, wherever that I had visited that day with my luggage bag and I couldn't find the air ticket and it, towards the end of the day I eventually went to the uh, air ticketing service agency and I told them that I had lost my air ticket and they told me that I had to find uh, they, they told me that I had to pay a certain amount of fees to be able to reprint the air ticket and so that I'll be able to use that again and um, I came back home very much disappointed and upset with myself for you know for forgetting where I had placed my air ticket a couple of days passed and suddenly one day I had this, this desire to look for the air ticket again and I had reached out in the same place where I had reached out earlier on I couldn't find the air ticket that day but to my amazement and to my surprise I found the air ticket where I had placed it you see um, a lot of times in life we forget uh, a lot of important things by forgetting a lot of important things it brings great consequences sometimes for example where we if we misplace our key or ticket or license or whatever that is important things right when we forget them we have to pay a great consequence for them all right we have to face the consequences sometimes by because we, we forgot them all right in the same manner in life a lot of times when we forget God's goodness and his faithfulness over our lives you know what happens that there is this tendency for our worry to grow there is this tendency you know for our worry, for our peace and our joy to be robbed off, off of us right when we forget God's goodness and when we forget his faithfulness over our life and that is why the psalmist here is suggesting you know encouraging the believers to remember the Lord's deeds to remember his miracles of long ago because by doing so it opens us a way to see more miracles in our lives you know God has guided us God has protected us God is leading us you know God is watching over us he's faithful by remembering those things by meditating those things we will have more joy more peace in our lives at the same time all right our trust in god grows even more our i you know we derive strength from these things because by remembering the past you know god you know god had done it in the past and god is more than able to do it right now you know god was able to do perform such a powerful miracle in the past in my life and god is more than able to do it now we derive this trust we derive this confidence from that and by doing so right there's no room for fear there's no room for doubt there's no room for worry in our life so today my friend i want to encourage you all right no matter what you're going through in your life i want to encourage you to remember the lord's deeds in your life all right to remember the miracles that god had done in your life don't forget them remember them write them down keep giving thanks to god remember to speak uh, the miracles that god had done in your lives all right share it with them you know keep continuously giving thanks to god for this is the perfect will of god no matter what you're going through in your life reach out to god seek him with all your heart and you will find him my friend all right 
don't give room for fear don't give room for doubt don't give room for worry and i believe that uh, i believe that you know remembering the good things that god has done in our lives you know remembering the miracles of god in our lives is such a stress reliever and not only releases our stress but it also helps us to be happy and peaceful my friend all right let me just say a quick word of prayer for you dear heavenly father i thank you for this wonderful time thank you for those who are watching this video i pray the lord will encourage them a lord strengthen them father may your hand be upon their lives bless them lead them and guide them lord god in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray amen dear wonderful friends thank you for checking out my video today i do have a lot of other videos on my youtube channel my sermon videos my cover songs and my devotional videos do check them out and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe god bless you